I don't quite know where the idea comes from that somehow living off-grid is less than. Um, it's true there are adaptations to your lifestyle. You have to control yourself. You have to exhibit responsibility on the environment. You have to not overuse your water, not overuse your power. Um, but the whole idea that somehow off-grid is uncomfortable is certainly not true. For some reason, some people think it's living in the dark. And yet, off-grid living is actually, in my opinion, superior to normal living. It gives you some true investment personally and responsibility in your lifestyle. We have power. We have lights. We simply use solar power systems. Maybe they track the sun. Maybe they're just steel. But we use these systems to provide all the power we need. Power for pumping water. Because yes, we have running water. We have lights under counters. You know, we don't suffer in any way because somehow we're doing less than everyone else. We don't suffer at all because we live off grid. We have our shakes, we have our meals, we have uh, some meals may come off the land depending on how far you want to take the off grid lifestyle. If you really want to be off off grid, then certainly you can do that and you can get yourself into a very comfortable situation and you don't need to sacrifice any of the conveniences whatsoever. In fact, I had a guy tell me the other day, you can't actually have air conditioning off grid. Like I have no idea where the idea comes from because it truly, truly is just a matter of installing the right equipment and you've got power that runs your systems of your life, including staying completely and totally comfortable. You can set the temperature just about as high as you want to. And regardless of the weather outside, when you live inside an insulating, structural, non-toxic, aircrete home, you're going to be able to choose your temperature and be completely comfortable. Because after all, it's all about that first world comfort and living a quality of life, not just existing. And being snug as a bug in a rug, yeah, it feels really good. And in an off-grid house, you're not digging holes and using the bathroom in the desert. Yes, we have other plumbing. We have low flush water toilets that use the recycled water or fresh water so that our shower water can then flush our toilet at no loss to our efficiency of off-grid living whatsoever. And when the need arises, perhaps every day, we can come in and have a nice, wonderful, perfect, water efficient shower. In the shower. So, regardless of what you might think, off-grid living is not failure to live a better life or less than. In fact, off-grid living, I would say, is more than the conventional life because of the freedoms it affords you, because of the ability to choose where you're going to live, to not be dependent upon other systems, to not be dependent upon a government or anybody to create you a safe, beautiful lifestyle. If you find this interesting, click the link below in the description and find out more about living off-grid and how to build all of the systems for off-grid life using Aircrete as the base resource for a non-toxic, eco-friendly home.